latitude clock of london i'm going to talk about latitude clock of london london uh, is the london <coughs> is the northern hemispheres uh, north latitude 51.5 and prime meridian is zero and this this is a summer solstice and this is winter solstice 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. When the noon time, this is sunset time. And noon time, this uh, is uh, North America. Northeast part is uh, sun rising time. This noon time means um, the sun is on the sky, top of the sky, but <coughs> uh, summer solstice and then solar noon time is 1 p.m. Winter solstice solar noon time is 12 p.m. It's different in terms of um, rotation. Uh, revolution turning around the sun is quite different. So, Iraq is the Bering Sea, the same latitude. This is uh, night time, midnight, midnight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, here we can figure out something with the lighted clock of London first and about daytime summer search test to um, winter solstice, 443 a.m. to 21:27 p.m. It means um, about 16. Five, um, seven, nine, sixteen, uh, one, seven, one, seven, forty four hours. Sixteen hours for four minutes. It's a uh, daytime uh, in uh, some months of this. How about the uh, winter solstice? A zero seven AM two sixteen zero one PM it means about 
OPM, 8, Seven hours, fifty four minutes. So, um, we are difference of uh, uh, ten ten minute difference. Nine eight hours. Fifty minute difference. Um, of daytime. At summer solstice to winter solstice and also we have um, for as you know about <coughs> the half of uh, sunrise to sunrise of to Summer solstice to sunrise of winter solstice. It means uh, spring equinox, and now we have almost uh, and half of two equal and the hours here. Six four two nine twenty um, about five twenty seven means two hours. Mm, about forty three minutes. It means ninety two days. So um, we have uh, one hundred six three minutes to divide ninety two equal about. Um, one point eight about seven or eight it means uh, one minute <coughs> 40 seconds or 45 seconds 40 seconds just um, about I didn't calculate uh, as randomly. That means uh, uh, we can do one minute and forty seconds equal about three minutes, two seconds, twenty seconds a day. It's every day the daytime changes. Three minutes, twenty seconds we have. The interesting fact here. <laughs> also, the one thing is quite interesting, and then the daytime difference of uh, winter solstice and summer solstice is quite different. I'll give you here one uh, website uh, here this is uh, 
Sunrise, Sunset Times Organization, Daily Port, The Big City, and Sunrise and Sunset. Here in London, London in June, summer solstice, and uh, we know about <clears throat> everyday um, difference of uh, one minute forty seconds, but here. Uh, this is uh, summer solstice. This is summer solstice. Because uh, summer solstice means uh, uh, long. Daytime is very long. Daytime is very long. Summer solstice, but uh, you can see the time difference in summer solstice not changed for here about five days. And also here about five days and two days, three days. Here also three days. And sunset time also same, about four days. And two days, two days. And also the only one minute change, one minute change. Why? Question, why? We can guess, here is the sun, northern hemisphere, summer solstice, the earth like this, tilted 23.5, the sunrise comes like this, and then we know about that the half of the earth is daytime. but. The angle is the matter. The angle is almost here, 90 degree. 90 degree, that means uh, directly it uh, sunlight comes. And also same, uh, when we go back to winter solstice and then December 31 or something, 22, and also the same <coughs> phenomenon here. Also, this one is also the winter solstice. Winter solstice is uh, 90 degrees. We more figure out with the latest clock of London. It is the same as the other place, so same. I check about Seoul. It's the same phenomenon about summer solstice, winter solstice. The daytime change very, very slow. This area is very, very slow. Daytime change. <clears throat> okay, I go for um, December. We'll check uh, this year. Mm. How go for the daytime change? Here. In 31. No change, about five days, and also the only here three days, three days, two days, just one minute, two days, one minute, only one minute. There's no time. One minute, three days. This is the winter solstice route. And that means window source time also, the time is not changed a, a, a lot. Why? It's about 90 degrees. 90 degrees from the, from the sun. From the sun. 
how about uh, other times like uh, in the middle of times for example um, so April or May or September to October November we check about October late late of October Later of October is uh, the middle from autumn equinox to winter solstice. Now we check out here. This is a normal change time because the angle is around. Here's go for here. And here one minute here and two minutes and here also two minutes two minutes two minutes two minutes one minute two minutes about uh, randomly about three minutes uh, including sunlight and sunset change time and here also the two minutes 49 to 47, 45, 43, almost 2 minutes. That means uh, we have about uh, 3 minutes, minute about uh, 30 seconds. Uh, we can figure out, and then when the sun here, this is sun. Now the October is going to winter two. Mm. It's a winter solstice. This is uh, autumn equinox. Uh, okay. Uh. Autumn equinox. Autumn equinox to go for here's 9, 9 September and this 22. Then um, we have here October about 22, just one month later and go here. Three months and then divide the three. This is uh, a third. This time we can see the earth. That means when earth go around uh, the center of each uh, equinox to source this here and that is we can get uh, angle is almost same. Same less here. But this way angle is 90 degree. It's quite different. Also, um, autumn equinox and uh, spring equinox also, the angle is uh, uh, effect. This also is a half of the the earth is uh, almost uh, tilted point is 90 degree. That means and here an increasing a little decreasing and increasing de uh, decreasing increasing decreasing increasing decreasing about daytime difference the pact is like that so um, if we study further and then we can know about more this is about the clock of London. Now I'm going to talk about geography with the the clock of London. We know about geography with the world map or Google Earth nowadays. Google Earth is very good. Mm, Google Earth is a very effective uh, 
effective uh, here. We go for London now. For the geography. London. Voila. <clears throat> now we go for London. Here. We come London. This is uh, Northern Hemisphere 51.5 degree. Prime Meridian 0. And now, where is London in geography? We can see the map, but uh, there's, if we use the world map with a Mercator pop, we should know about one thing. I'm going to tell. So London is an island country. But in terms of islands like uh, Korea to Japan or other places, China to Taiwan, Australia to New Zealand, but it's quite different here because it's about the distance of uh, um, UK to France. I can measure about the geography here. Only 41 kilometer, 0 0.5 degree. Non uh, uh, <clears throat> in the globe is not meaningful. That means and then Ireland, uh, UK, almost inland of Europe continent. This is only the North Sea or English Channel, uh, Celtic Sea, means is the same area. So it's in, uh, the geography clearly and the climate in UK to main Europe it's almost the same, but the uh, effect of uh, the ocean is very important. <coughs> okay, go back. Yeah. Uh, why? When we study geography, we should... Uh, um, we had better avoid uh, using the world map by Mercator. The reason is why here. We have cosine 50 uh, about 2 equal maybe 0 0.6 or 7 6, 6, 6, 7 like that about. That means it is uh, about 6-7% of uh, equator length. Means equator is uh, 40,000 km and then means 28. 20 okay yeah and the length of uh, latitude of uh, 51 52 uh, latitude is uh, about uh, 20 6,800 kilometers. Not long in terms of uh, equator. So we should know about and the uh, length of it. It's very important point at the geography. Now and then here I talk about um, geography now the point here is London 
the UK. Here is island and only the 50 km away in Europe here and almost Europe and go further is a Berlin go further Barso or Poland and more Ukraine Kiev go further maybe almost 53 is the Samara the city of Volga River in Russia this is Europe area and go further all the continent and Russia or here is Kazakhstan the northern of Kazakhstan and also go further Russia now we go Chadan this is East 90 where is Chadan? Chadan is near Baikal Sea or Irkutsk the city of Irkutsk uh, next to Baikal Sea Baikal Sea is very big but we can about we know about that uh, this area is a very cold area when this area is uh, cold but in winter season cold but it's not colder than Chadan why in the geography me uh, shows the climate and the region okay we go further I tell the reasons later and go for Chadan to go almost this area is uh, Kamchatka Peninsula the south of Kamchatka Peninsula this is a uh, Siberia area Kamchatka Peninsula to near the here the Bering Sea almost here Kamchatka the Bering Sea here the Bering Sea at that island uh, of uh, United States on Bering Archipelago and then this is also the 51 same latitude of London and 51 degree London is quite higher the northern part and Ada come to only this area is here to here only the northern uh, Pacific Pacific Ocean meet uh, Arctic Ocean and now and this place is um, Canada the Canada the border of Canada and the US is about 40 9 48 49 48 48 49 or oh, I check uh, okay I will go check we can check uh, later and then means uh, from Canada uh, like uh, Vancouver or Ontario other place uh, and this area is uh, North America North America <coughs> here the peak lake is uh, where's the peak lake peak lake is uh, near Quebec And Newfoundland. This is uh, uh, Northern America, and then Newfoundland too. This is uh, Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean. So, and um, the Atlantic Ocean affect the climate 
of uh, Europe. So, and the ocean, Atlantic Ocean, and with the ocean current also affect the climate of Europe, including UK. So, this area is uh, warmer than Chad by Kasi. This area, Chad area, and in winter season, the wind from northwest, it makes very cold area, whole this, this place. And also even uh, North America, the land side is very cold. We go for um, check out the border of uh, Canada to U US and we can figure out the border Canada to Vancouver. Vancouver Now we can uh, find the border. Uh, ah, 49, 49. This is the line of uh, border of uh, between uh, U.S. to Canada. Uh, this is means 49. Only um, about three degree and means uh, 300 kilometer from the border. Go back and uh, the border over here uh, 49 uh, north 49 of border. between Canada with the US. Uh, so, and I talk about um, this latitude clock of London. Uh, we know about the Earth movement, rotation and revolution with the lighted clock and also we figure out geography and also we almost figure out climate so the lighted clock shows many things mm. so by studying 